Well, if you're trying to budget, but maybe it's your first time or you just feel like, hey, I'm not good at these. Where do I even start? You talk to Cypress Credit Union. That's why we have to bring in Dave Sant. Hey, Dave, you always have some great tips, especially for those first time budgeters. Hey, how are you doing today? Good. So, you know, we talk about this frequently, but there's some topics we want to hit again and some other new topics as well. So let's start with, you know, what do they do with coming up with those goals? Yeah. So anytime you want to start a budget, you need to have a goal. Uh, budget's only as good as your goal is. So it might be that you want to reduce your spending. It might be you want to increase your savings. It might be that you actually have a big purchase mm -hmm. you want to make in the future, but make sure you sit down and you have a clear cut defined goal. You know, we talked months ago about a smart goal. Make sure it's a smart yeah. goal that you can sit down that's going to be achievable. And then what do you have to do to really reach that? And that's gonna be analyzing your income and all of your expenses. So start writing down where does your money come from and where is your money going to go? And then where do you want that money to go? Because you might say I'm spending too much over here. You know, maybe I'm spending too much on going out to eat and I wanna put that towards more towards savings. So make those adjustments right. so that the budget is moving you towards that goal. And I think that's important because sometimes I've made a budget in the past and I'm like, I'm going to save this and I just kind of hope it's magic and it all falls into place and it yeah. never works. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way to do it. Let's talk about uh, the fourth one, trial and error. It's okay if it doesn't work, right? Yeah, a budget is a skill just like anything else. You're, any other talent you're trying to develop or anything you're trying to do, you're going to start out and you're going to have some bumps in the road. Right. So you want, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you are acknowledging those mistakes and you're learning from those mistakes. So you might you know, sit down and build what you think is the perfect budget. And the first mm -hmm. month, you don't hit that budget at all. You're off in every single place. You're above in all the places you thought you were going to spend and you're below in all the places you thought you were going to save. Sit down and figure out why. You know, like, what caused that? Was there an event that happened? Was there something unexpected? Is there something I didn't have in my right. budget before? But take those mistakes and learn from those mistakes. And that actually, that trial and error can really help you to be a great budgeter. Exactly. And I think that starting small is probably the way you do it, which is your fifth point. Absolutely. I think everybody would sit down and say, I want to save, you know, $500 more every single month and have this big grandiose goal. It, you can't do that in just one, one time, especially if you're a beginning budgeter. So start with a small goal. Maybe you might say, you know, I need to find 20 extra dollars to be able to save this month and then start hitting that $20 goal, figure out what did you need to do to hit that, then the next month take that up to 50, then take that up to 75, but slowly build towards it will help you to realize where you need to shift stuff around and it won't create that big of a you know shock to your system when you uh, versus trying to do a big thing all at once. 100%. I, I love it when I hear people say, you know what, I just didn't buy a coffee every single day or a soda. And that saved me X amount of dollars over yep. the month, which it adds yep. up, right? That's something so. small that can add up. Exactly. Dave, if they want more info, give them your website. CypressU.com. We've got everything you need to help you build your budget. Perfect. We will see you soon. See you later.